Hi, greetings for the day. My name is Josh, Josh Shaji. So today I'm going to present to you about the various lessons what you have learned from the project which you have done. This talks about the problems, the agenda, the issues what we faced, the challenges what we had encountered from various factors and what are the key lessons or what are the aspects of the key lessons what we could achieve and learn from this project and how this can be beneficial for others as well. So my name is Joe Shachiki and my student number is 3012805. Nine. This is the final project. Thank you. So basically the agenda of this is basically to understand how uh, what uh, like how we have learned various lessons in the project and also what were the challenges which we faced during the project and um, what were the agendas of the project as a whole. So to give you a short introduction in ABC company, we were planning to understand, start up a project for a new recreational center for the employees, which includes playing area, recreational and relaxing area with some canteen and refreshment centers as well. So now uh, ABC company has successfully executed and moved to the closure of the project. And uh, we have learned various lessons from the project on various aspects, such as the budget, the time, and the resource management of the project and most importantly the planning of the projects so uh, on each level there were different things which we faced different issues which we faced even let's say for the budget thing for the time management uh, things or for the resources or the planning on each stage there was uh, different uh, obstacles which we faced and different uh, issues which we had in our mind and which we had in our friend so from various uh, levels actually we had different levels actually the project had different problems so i'm gonna tell you about how we actually faced them and what we have uh, achieved out of it from this kind of a project actually so to introduce about the lessons learned in this project we actually have categorized it into three different uh, sections one of the top most things which we have categorized is the feedbacks. The feedbacks was uh, one of the best practices which we could incorporate into our project from the starting of the project itself. This gave us to uh, connect uh, directly to the shareholders, the stakeholders, and to the em uh, employees indirectly so that we would be able to get an understanding about the project uh, according to their needs actually. And this actually ensured the project is going in the right path the major idea or the major objective of uh, uh, having this forum is to get us uh, the involvement about the stakeholders or the employees so that in the later stage of the project's completion there won't be any issues among the stakeholders or the employees so when you see the vision of the project itself it is actually for the employees of the company and what is a, a proper recreation center uh, project without understanding what employees need so we could get a viable, variable, uh, like various viable uh, feedbacks from the employees and stakeholders so that we were able to manage both the sites and uh, tally it under the same budget uh, without delaying in time as well. So feedbacks were one of the most important factor which helped us to learn a lot of things about this project actually. Secondly, there was the meetings. So we were having uh, periodic meetings somewhere weekly, somewhere bi-weekly, somewhere monthly. So all these meetings helped, uh, uh, the, it helped us to understand the goals, what have to be achieved and where we could have done better. So these meetings were uh, initially brainstorming sections. So this uh, brainstorming sections actually helped us to realize, okay, this has to be done. This is going in a wrong path of what is happening in the right current stage of the project. All those uh, explanations were uh, carried out to discussed so whenever there was an issue which was encountered we were able to achieve it up uh, without uh, delaying in the time of completion of the project so meetings were one of the major uh, factor where we were able to uh, learn a lot of lessons in in terms of the completion of project 
and by having a great meetings periodically and getting the feedbacks from the employees and the uh, stakeholders uh, we were able to monitor the issues during the execution of the project so as we finish each phase of the project we were able to reevaluate what has been done and how the next phase can be made better and this helped in understanding okay whatever things we have done wrong or whatever things which we can do it efficiently were uh, monitored well and uh, this will help in the smooth execution of the project as a whole as well so this was one of the major factor of learning various lessons to this project also so together these were the major three things which helped us to learn a lot of things and to understand the best practices to be followed in a project actually so this these are the three major things uh, what i would suggest personally to all the other people who is to be going to have a project uh, like who is going to start a project or who is uh, who doesn't know how to uh, start or uh, how to look into the problems or how to manage the issues i would personally suggest that these three things if you add into your project plan itself would give you a great solution after, at the end of the project so basically when we had taken the feedbacks for uh, the project it was very uh, casually handled in the beginning we were not sure uh, whether we need to take this feedback seriously or not but throughout the project starting phase onwards when we started to uh, read through or focus through the feedbacks it made us realize that it is very important to know is because there is a lot of uh, issues or uh, collusions which is happening between the stakeholders as a whole also so if you see uh, the stakeholders uh, and the internal team or the external team if you see from the top the ceo had a feedback which gave, gave us to understand uh, what way the project should be taken so while the construction of the projects were started all the categories uh, were like uh, like we were a, we were uh, planning to have all the categories to start and uh, like all the categories at a once to start at once and complete it be, uh, so that we can complete it before the time but uh, we were suggested to go on one after the other so we have to cons uh, understand and uh, phase the project into different sections uh, so we constructed the structure and also started placing things for the ambience in one by one manner this helped us to understand more about the work in uh, in particular phases actually and uh, we were glad that we avoided any reworks in the later stage uh, by executing it by face to face challenges face to face uh, actions actually so uh, we divided into mainly five categories actually so luckily let's like if when i see it from now uh, if i have been done something like that or if the team of this project management have not done it in a face to face wise uh, constructions uh it would have made us lose time and also rework on the issues what we could have faced later stage so this was one of the major impact of uh having a great feedback from the ceo itself in the area of execution secondly uh it was from the cm the side of uh, area the feedback came in was through about the budgeting we were actually assigned with a budget of maximum $80,000 or minimum of $30,000 and initially to start the project we actually asked the company and the CFO to release the whole amount at once so that we can have enough fund in our hand and we can start uh, the project in a easy go and we could actually finish it sooner but however as uh, we started to the executing phase we were able to uh, Uh, we, we were able to uh, consciously spend on the money on each phases actually so since the money was given to us into uh, time to time phases it was very much uh, put in terms of our understanding and learning so that we could effectively spend it on to the project actually and the lear lesson learned was that we were able to negotiate during the times where the funds were not able to be um uh, like uh, funds were able to be given and also to cut it on a higher note so that we will be able to get the right amount at the right time so that was one of the things which we have learned throughout this project and one of the other feedbacks what we were very keen to get was from the employees itself as the project was going to directly benefit the employees of the company it is 
very important to get a uh, direct feedback from the employees, understand what are the needs and their wants to a recreation center and accordingly develop the project. So we had uh, set up a survey and also a feedback from the employee side in the area of uh, direct opinions and we asked to give us the feedback about our development. So if that they required any changes that can be implemented before the establishment gets fully ready. So the employers were very much ready to accept that, helped us to understand it and uh, we were able to negotiate each other with the constraint of the budget and the time constraint to build up, build the uh, project done and all those things we were having an up and down. But since we were able to get a good feedback from our employers and they were very much uh, ready to accept what uh, we were able to provide them and they were also happy with it. And the lesson learned what we learned from that kind of a feedback that we should always consider the negative side of the feedback as the output can be molded on more of a presentable way. So that was one of the major uh, uh, inputs which actually helped not just the completion of the project but a proper utilization of the resources and the end product of the project. And finally, uh, the feedback from the vendors. It was all about the raw materials. The vendors were trying to make more changes, more uh, elaborative and manipulatives, but we were strong uh, enough to stick to the original plan and get the things right in legal manner. There were many vendors who approached us for the whole process of the project and uh, different vendors actually gave us different quotations, different ideas, different plans and uh, some of them benefited us, some of them showed us as if it is going to benefit us, but none of them was more efficient in both the terms. So we would like to need a win-win situation. And uh, this helped us to focus and monitor the issues, what happened for us. And uh, this helped us to learn a lesson that different vendors quoted different prices. Maybe some are high, maybe some are low. And having a checklist and then finalizing on the vendor was a very challenging part as we should not be compromising quality or quantity. So we were very peculiar about it. We had a team to identify that and analyze the vendor's needs and also to have it in a very reasonable price. That was a very hectic task for the whole project team to continue or even start the project actually. The next one was the meetings which we had. The project has already ensured to conduct periodical meetings with the stakeholders to receive the feedback, get the suggestions, and also we would like to share the updates of the project. And this helped in identifying the implementations at the early stage and to come back that with the issues of the resources the project had. As the project was to be done in a office space where the second half of the whole area of the project was a working business and the project was supposed to happen in one part of the uh, the whole space it was very tough to manage both so regular meetings has been done on a periodic basis which helped the stakeholders and also the top level managers to have an idea about what is happening how is it happening and how long it is going to last during any decision makings in the project such as uh, let's say the details of the re uh, recreation center or maybe the budget issues or whatever it is a lot of uh, opinions and suggestions were put forward and uh, we were uh, supposed to choose one among them. It was really a challenging phase when all the stakeholders like we were having a tough time to understand the needs of each stakeholders and managing it and matching it with each other so that the project can happen on time without any delay or any issues in that. So these kind of meetings helped in, in achieving that. We had a proper team in the project management team itself so that they were able to connect with them, update with the whole team about the issues. And uh, that was actually a very challenging factor which was happening throughout the project. But we had our ups and we had our downs and we were never uh, backing out from any issues what we had. So basically, we tried to manage all the stakeholders needs into one and satisfy them without bringing out a problem in them. This can be affecting in future projects as well. So a meeting is one of the main thing what we would say is one of a major thing where all the other factors of learning like as I said before to monitor it or to maybe uh, to have the feedback from the stakeholders and the employees and everything 
a proper meeting or a proper channel of meetings can be done so that this all uh, goes in a structure without uh, missing out in the communication channels and also not having a problem at the end of the project. Once after we execute the project and once it is done, uh, it is uh, it is very likely to have a negative feedback as well. And then it is a very huge task to reach and restructure the whole project or redo the whole project, which can be losing in time, budget, and also the energy and the uh, thing, uh, energy and the value of time which we have invested for the project. So meetings helped us a lot to identify all those issues and this helped in the whole process of the whole uh, project as a whole. So as a whole, we were able to monitor the teams, uh, team and the leadership team. And the lessons learned is a lot of them which was uh, which we can't explain as a whole because it was a project which was happening for three months and uh, for an outsider if you see it's a easy job for them seeing that to have a recreation center it's, it's a easy thing to have a project right but it was not there was no as I said before there was a lot of uh, uh, coercions with the team and the management and the stakeholders and all those things were uh, various uh, they gave more pressure to the project as a whole so, so therefore uh, there are a lot of lessons which we have learned from this few of them which i can mention right now is that a team and the leadership has effectively documented the lessons learned from this project so we were able to categorize the issues which we faced on the budget side about uh, the way how the fair the project should be done should be should it uh, should be executed it in one flow or should we separate it into different phases was one of the major challenges which we faced. We were able to uh, connect an efficient document uh, where we can understand what were the lessons which we learned and what were the issues which we faced through this project. And this actually helped in uh, understanding the problems and uh, awaiting for the next projects, coming upcoming projects. And whenever a similar issues or a problem arises, we will be able to overcome that in much more easier so maybe this may be a small uh, project for an outsider but for a person who is working deeply for a uh, betterment of the office space and uh, taking the project as a personal uh, personal possession or a personal ambition uh, it have actually helped us to gain knowledge on various levels actually this uh, effective documentation about the lessons what we learned will actually help us uh, to ensure the key aspect, aspects which should be taken care of uh, uh, appropriately during the next project session. All those things is going to be helping in, in any project. So let's say that not just an internal project what we are having in the company, maybe an out, outside project what we are doing for uh, for another client or for, like any expansion, let's say, as you know, ABC uh, company is going to be expanding more into more teams and to understanding and having a more uh, uh, issues like whatever uh, when, when it is going to be expanded into more teams and everything the growth of the company also means that there is going to be a lot of more projects coming up in the future so when we document all these things as per understanding the key aspects it helps the whole team to understand it well and also uh, to get it up done without having problems and I would recommend personally that each project, whether it is a small project or a large project, even if it is a project which takes one year time or three year time or five year time, or maybe even if it is a project which takes a month time, it's always important for anyone to actually learn the lessons what has been done in the project. This helps them to achieve more on their project skills and also the leadership skills of the team actually. So this is the way how we have done this. And the lessons learned are not done and we are not telling that uh, we are people people who are now uh, well achieved and fully learned people or something like that no but the learning still continues but this particular project what we have done has taught us a lot and we are very thankful for the whole management team the stakeholders and the company and the employees uh, for supporting us and also to helping us to achieve the project in the right time at the right budget without any delay. So thank you so much of that.